Alrighty, what's going on everybody? It's Steve again, and uh, back here with my, uh, my, what do you call those people that make stuff? Uh, artisan, there you go. So I got my artisan here, and uh, basically it's been over a day now, and what I've done was basically put her on grinding. All she's been doing is uh, surveying, and as I get um, skills for surveying, I purchase a training for surveying, and I knock that shit out. So during doing that serving, I was able to collect quite a bit of uh, minerals. So I got uh, 2k iron, 1k fiberplast, and about almost, well, I got 47k of aluminum. I actually had about 52k uh, of aluminum and stuff, and uh, probably about, well, probably about 3k of uh, iron and about 3k of uh, fiberplast. But I started doing a bunch of construction. As you can see, I have a bunch of construction boxes right here. And basically what I started doing was basically constructing uh, clothing kits. Um, so what I was doing is basically I'll bring it up. I well, and put it on miscellaneous. I had clothing up. It has complexity 11. I would hit next. I would double click my minerals, put in my fiberplast, and then I click a hotkey, which was this one that I made. It's a little macro, but I have it set up on my mouse. So this is a high, this is a hotkey that we use for body shot with the other character. So I click it, pushes it, and knocks out the rest of the uh, rest of the construction. And it basically makes a uh, what do you call it? It's um, a practice mode, uh, so you don't actually get an actual item out of it. And as you saw there, I got 68 points of experience per click. So basically, I go through all seven of these, set them all up, do that click, and I can probably knock it all out in about um, I don't know 20 seconds or so. So every 20 seconds, I'm knocking out seven at a time. And you know, as they complete, the next one's ready. The next one's ready. Just keep going. I keep chaining them. So doing that, I was able to quickly become a master artisan already. <laughs> um, honestly, if I had all the min min uh, materials to begin with, I could probably knock out master artisan in about probably an hour, uh, maybe even less than that, mainly by using the macros. And I can make it faster by creating macros that already preset uh, the 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 what you call it, the schematic and all that stuff. The only thing I have to do is double click the materials, or the minerals and stuff, and put them in there. Uh, but I can also use a macro, uh, you know, a macro recording program to actually click on the screen for me and do everything automatically. And then I'll, all I have to do is just turn it on, sit back, and wait for the XP to come in, right? So, yeah, I was able to knock that out. So now I can create uh, under Master Artisan. I can create the vehicles now. I can create swoops, uh, swoops, uh, speeder bikes, and land vehicles. Uh, I can't create buildings yet, so I'm working on getting architect. <laughs> I really don't need Knockout Architect, but I think uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Uh, mainly because on the Architect, I need the I need the facilities, the factories, the medium harvesters, high, large harvesters. I want those. Unfortunately, they're not as efficient as a person. So theoretically, what we can do is basically set up two characters, have them both sampling, and they'll be harvesting a shit ton of minerals, far more than what the harvester would. Plus, on the harvester, you have to put money into it, and you also have to put power into it. So you have to harvest some power or set up some uh, buildings to harvest power, and then you got to pay the maintenance on that. So it costs you a lot more. It's a lot cheaper to just harvest it manually. And since you can have two, you can have multiple characters on one account. Uh, you can probably do this, you know, a lot more efficient. Uh, except you can only have two running at the same time. So either way, two characters running, grinding. Uh, I would say. See today in about a uh, what was it about say? Well, I started mining last night, so I would say six o'clock. No, no, no. Uh, hmm. I guess close to like fourteen hours. I acquired fifty uh, k of uh, aluminum, which really isn't that much. Uh, but you know, put two characters together, that's 100k. You know, basically those are some, those are still some low numbers. But if you let them run all week, you know, one character in seven days, you know, that's uh, what's that? Uh, seven plus five, it's 3,500. Uh, if you have two characters running, so that throws you back about 70, 700,000 uh, units of material. And that's because I was, the place where I'm grinding at is only like 78% uh, or something. I don't know what the min mineral area is here. Let's see. Oh, this one's actually at 87%. So I'm getting a lot more efficient on the iron. Uh, when I was doing the aluminum, it was only like, you know, maybe 73 or something. 
either way, I uh, gave myself like 50,000 credits and I already blew through them. I only got like 17,000 left. <laughs> uh, mainly because of all the training I did. You know, that's a lot of training. So yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm coming along quickly. <coughs> Excuse me, coming along quickly. Uh, um, yeah, so I knocked all this stuff out. Uh, basically, the next thing to do is decide which way to go. Uh, Armor Smith takes too much crap, actually. <laughs> Uh, Weaponsmith, all those, uh, shipwreck, wraith, whatever you call them, wrath, whatever. A droid engineer. A droid engineer is cool. And I always wanted to do droid engineer, but I never had the fucking uh, proper... Oh, the, the damn thing didn't work last time I, I was trying to do it. So droid engineer is something I would like to try because I would love to build some droids. Now you have to get some tapes and some enhancements to make them actually worth anything, but you can make the basic droid that will basically harvest shit for you or whatever. So... I think I might knock out Droid, uh, but one of the reasons I did not want to go knock out Droid right away is because out of getting the, uh, oops, yeah, I'll do it here. Out of getting the uh, the architect in here, I get the blocks in here. I get to create these uh, fucking blocks where the fuck they're at. Uh, structure models, no, I can't remember which one they are, but it, it's basically a, a wall model. I think you need ten. You build a structure module, and then you build ten of those, and you put them, and you make a wall module whatever each one of those modules is about uh can't remember exact man i can't remember anymore i remember i remember i did a lot of buildings and i think each one of those little blocks was 450 points of experience which means a fuck ton but i don't know if that same architect experience will give you for uh, the droid experience i think the droid experience requires you to actually have droid experience uh Clicking on this will tell you real quick. Uh, it just says skill points. Not that. Uh, where's it? Count. There it is. Skill point requires general crafting. Okay, so yeah. I can use anything to get this. These other ones require droid crafting experience. So yeah, I won't be able to do uh, much of those. But I'll be able to knock out this one quickly with building some stuff. Uh, and from here, it's 28,000. So it, it's quite a bit of way to go. Uh, and I would say each one of these paths of seven gives me at 68, 68 by 7, or the hell that is, uh, I would say close to 560, 560 experience points per run, so every two runs is, you know, you're looking at 1,000 experience points, so at 1,000, you'll do that 28 times, 28 times, so that becomes uh, 40, 52, 56 times, so I have to do this entire row 56 times to be able to get this, and that's just general estimations. <laughs> So yeah, I could probably knock it out. I could find something with a little bit more complexity, and the higher the complexity, the more material, well not really the more materials, but the more experience you get out of it. So uh, let's see if I find anything else here has a higher, uh, yeah, like these things, control modules, 15. That's awesome to make some of these. The problem is they require a lot of crap, like inert gas and polymers and copper as well. So a GP module, inert gas, you know, all these things require so much other crap that kind of makes it difficult. Well, not difficult, but makes it a pain in the ass. So, I mean, usually you try to find something that has a high complexity, and you go off of that. What was that weird thing? That thing, huh? What the fuck? Uh, I thought it's a birdcage. Well, okay. It could be a laser birdcage. So, going off here, I'm trying to find anything here that's, like, complexity 14 or something to build off of. But I don't think anything here does, really. Installation, 13s, 13s, 15s. These are great. Unfortunately, it requires uh, quite a bit of steel. Well, actually, no, let's see. Let's just look at this. I'm not gonna build it, but okay. So yeah, I still need steel and a uh, lower grade ore. So yeah, I, don't, I can't really just build those. And I thought it was gonna take a lot more materials than this, but no, that's cool. Um, yeah, but all those require, I mean, just to build the, the, the shits for it. Let's see what else we got. Thought there was something else. Yeah, not much more, but yeah, the the ones I was doing was 11 on complexity, and that'd be awesome if I could do some 14s, but like, here's some 15s, like I was saying earlier, but when you check the materials, I mean, look at all this different crap you need, and there's no way. I mean, all I got from here is just that. Um, the reason I'm harvesting a steel right now, or not steel, but iron, is because I need it for doing the vehicles. I can't bring up vehicles here because I need to be near a uh, weapons crafting shit. You know what? Maybe I can do it with uh, this one. There you go, vehicles. So I can bring up the swoop here, and the swoop. Look at that, sixty. I mean, you know, six point four thousand. That's a lot of freaking uh, iron that I need. 
and I, that's actually some good uh, quality iron. Aluminum, not so great, but iron, eh, it's not bad. So to build that, I'm, I need a, I need a shit ton of iron. And if I was going by my calculations earlier, in about a day, or in about yeah, a full day, I would estimate you'd get about uh, 60,000 units. So yeah, so sixty thousand and forty-eight, and you can build at least you know ten uh, swoops a day. And I believe each one of these is like four hundred and sixty experience. What's this? Whatever the fuck this means. Shock resistance, hit points, extreme durability. Experimental durability. Huh, okay. But yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna check some other stuff here. Let's see chemical farmer and the generals, that's all crap. I mean, well not crap, but you know. Uh, what else can we make in here that's more complex? But yeah, the complexity on those on the vehicles were fourteen, I believe. Oh, 20, look at that. So that's why you get so much experience. So that's probably about 460 points of experience for building a, a vehicle. And they're good at half, because once you build a shit ton of them, you can actually just store them and you'll eventually use them. Or you can throw them on the market and you can sell them for about, you know, 6,000 a pop. 5,000, 6,000 a pop. I mean, not really a super hot item for selling, but, you know, it's good to have. It's good to have backups. And, well, hey, you might make some money out of it. And all it's going to cost you is just some time. Plus, you get the experience, which is great. And the minerals is only two different types. So from here, from this, uh, I need the non crap metal, whatever the fuck it is, which I got 47k of that. That's quite a bit. I mean, that will probably generate at least, let's see, I'll say at least divided by two. So about, you know, what is it? 23, uh, probably less than that. Probably about 22 different vehicles, 22 vehicles with this. 22 vehicles, I need a shit ton of iron, so we can figure out what 22 vehicles by six was gonna cost us. That's quite a bit, it's like uh, 66,000. No, probably higher than that, 660 some thousand uh -huh, iron. But we can calculate the experience on that 22 at 460, uh, 450 each one. I mean, that's that's quite a bit there. I can do the math on that because I'm horrible right now. I can't count straight. But yeah, yeah, so great experience with that. Lots of stuff, and this counts as general uh, experience. So this can work. I can do this to get my droid engineering. So I'll probably do that. Probably build a few of those things. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's all I've been doing so far. I haven't been recording because, well, doing the grinding. There's really not much going on, and I really didn't feel like uh, recording the other day. Uh, tonight, I'm probably not gonna do anything either. I'm just gonna go ahead and just grind some iron, and I need to get a shit ton of iron. Um, I probably should get another character out here and start uh, also harvesting irons or. What I really need is low grade. I know I need low grade. I need a shit ton of low grade if I'm going to be doing the um, the building stuff. Uh, but I know I also need copper and all this other crap too. So maybe I'll make another character, bust her out here, and have her uh, start uh, mining as well. And I got this other character already trained up, so she can train her everything she needs to know. So yeah, I might do that. I might make another uh, harvester, bring her out here, and have them two both running since the, I got the macros and all that shit. And plus, I got all the crafting stuff, so I can easily do it. But I think I'm just going to make a harvester out of one. Alrighty, I guess that's it. I'm going to stop this recording. Until next time, catch y'all later.